Well, Gary from Diamond Trim's been hard at work on this 70 GTO Judge convertible. He's done a great job with the upholstery, the convertible top, done our upholstery for about 20 years. Now, when you go to year one, you can order two different panels. You can order the pre-assembled panel or you can order the unassembled panel. Depending what you want to do with the car is going to make up your decision on what you're going to order. It's going to require a lot of work and it's going to require a professional like Gary who's going to take us through the steps and what it exactly is involved in doing an unassembled panel. Peter, basically the unassembled panel is a little cheaper to buy in the beginning, but a little more labor intense to put back together. But the way you put it back together will make all the difference as far as judging goes if um, they're looking for particular staple installations, whether they're four inches and three inches apart, stuff like that. Um, basically what we started with was we would take out the hard metal rails that are in the top rails of the door panels. Um, that would require just breaking them off of the panel board and cleaning them up, painting them, removing all the anti-rattlers and uh, installing them onto the unassembled panel. Okay, now, now an original panel would come with steel and one of the, the pre-assembled panel would come with a fiberglass insert or a plastic insert I should say. Yes. For concourse quality you, you prefer the steel panel. Oh absolutely, I would go with the steel. The radius on the top of the panels is very important for keeping the panel tight to the seals on the top of the door. So if you have the metal in there, they tend to last a little bit longer and they'll look better, a little more rigid. I'm always wondering how you attach this cardboard to the steel panel. Basically, taking this panel apart, uh, we would very carefully measure for the height from the top of the, the radius up here to the panel. It has to be bang on or else, like I said, you're going to get gapping in the top and bottom and that'll cause holes like this one to be misaligned and cause you big problems. Basically, we would locate it, uh, drill right through, we would peen rivets onto it, and then machine the rivets down so that they're flush mounting so they don't interfere with mounting the panel. Okay, now you have to take the material and wrap it around the top. Is that yep. pretty straightforward? Yeah, pretty much, that's pretty basic. Uh, a heat gun, warm up the vinyl, it gets pulled around and glued across the top rail. Okay, you're not gluing it on, on this portion no, of it? No, no. Because it's going to get lumpy? Exactly, yes. Right. And what about the, the final weather strip? Final weather strip is basically, if you take some time, you can actually measure the old ones, and you can find where the staples were and uh, locate them in the original spots. Um, General Motors, on this particular one, used about six staples in these. Drill the two holes, put, the, put a new staple in, and if you want, touch it up with a little bit of paint so you can't see them. Um, I've seen a lot done with rivets up here, which looks really bad. It's not correct. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now, what about the, uh, the moldings themselves? You're taking a set of NOS moldings and putting them in. They're straightforward to install? Um, basically, yeah. The moldings that you, the NOS moldings that you get will install very easy. Put them in, peen them over on the back, uh, make sure they're polished so you don't have to get into polishing while they're on the panel. Pretty, pretty easy to install. Well, it sounds like a lot of work to take an unassembled panel and make it perfect, and it is, and that's why we have a guy like Gary doing it. Now, the convertible top, it's even more complicated. Let's not go there as far as we've showed you how to install a, a top on the L88 Corvette a couple years ago, but there's a few tricks for wrinkles and a few tricks that you can do when your top's down that can help sort out those problems. What are those? Basically, Peter, if you leave your top down for more than 24 hours, um, you are going to get some wrinkles in it. Uh, if you put your top in the upright position or if you even store it at night, you don't have to latch it right up, but just put it in the upright position and leave it like that. It's better than leaving it down. But if you do get some nasty wrinkles in it, you can take a heat gun, make sure you're good Far distance, away. <laughs> good distance away in order not to leave any shiny marks on the top. And just warm it gradually. Keep it on low heat. Hair dryer might even work Hair a little dryer, less heat. Yeah. yeah. Take a little longer, but it'll work too. Okay. So that basically wraps up what we did with the interior or the tricky items. We also did, of course, the, the carpets, we did the seat covers, we did the dash panels. Basically, we're going to dye all the hard plastic panels, being the dash, the skirts on the seats, the hard backs on the seats. These are all going to be dyed to match the tone of the vinyl of uh, the seat installation kit so that everything has the same hue.